high solo monk here um just want to update everybody on stuff uh a couple new records out um there's kentucky bowl of loopies four and the new one hedonic treadmill two of these records are acoustic and uh they're uh singer songwriter type bluesy type very raw lo-fi uh i just had the songs and the ideas and i you know knocked them out and uh did it really quickly did everything in one take you know i just i wrote the songs try to get the idea and then pump them out and the bowl of loopies is a part of the series that's been going on for like five years where i improvise um guitar leads and music and i write music really quickly and i just try to the idea is like to stay on the creative part and not so much try to show people that i'm really awesome or whatever at music or awesome at um guitar it's really just to show people that uh show myself and show people that you know creativity is a muscle and you have to train it and you kind of approach it every day and you kind of work on it all the time and uh you have to sacrifice to do that you know you have to like make time to be creative that it's not just like a faucet you turn on it's um something you have to wake up and do you know i wake up every day super early and i start working on stuff every fucking day there's no no days that i skip really unless something awful's happened the previous day or unless i'm doing a lot of manual labor and i'm like too sore which i have been doing lately but you know i still get up and work on things um So I have those records out. You can catch them on Spotify. You can download them for free on Bandcamp. I have a bunch of shows coming up. Uh, I'm trying. I'm working on a new series where I just do covers all the time. Show people the songs that I kind of like grew up on, listen to, uh, and I always do my version of things. I don't really do like the uh, the official version. And um, sorry, I'm letting the dogs out there. Uh, but yeah um, um, I'm going to be putting out lots of music this year I'm going to be playing lots of shows going to be putting out lots of art I'm just going to keep churning it out I'm not going to fucking stop I'll never fucking stop unless I'm fucking dead which is going to it's coming that's the reason why I push so hard for being a creative is that like it's one life there's there's no other fucking chance to to be to be you know especially leading up to this point all my life experiences and music and art and um, writing and all the other things um i've been working my whole adult life to get to a point where i can just kind of uh, not manifest things that I that I want to create, but like actually know how to create them and then create them. Manifesting's bullshit. You have to know how to make things. You have to put in the work. You know, <laughs> you can't uh, just look to the sky and be like, you know what? Good intentions. That's all it takes. Uh, that shit don't work. Uh, it never worked. I've never known anyone who's uh, really believes in manifesting that has any control over their creative output. You know. And I'm just not one of those people. I'm I'm a workhorse. I'm a laborer. I'm a poor person. I work every fucking day, and I'm gonna work probably every day till I die. And I still own nothing at the end of my life, and that's okay because um, I can kind of simulate control in my creative uh, endeavors by reaching goals, by controlling my own skill set, and how much better I can get at everything that I do and the things that I enjoy, and also just like relationships and and how I treat people and how I talk to people and how I talk to myself, you know? I have to, uh, it's constant work and, uh, and I don't mind doing it, you know? 
When I was a child, I wanted to be an adult that I needed as a child. Like when I grew up, I wanted to be an adult that I needed when I was a kid. And it's, uh, it's a long ass process. You know, you do it your whole life. I'm 36 now. I've been making records and writing songs for close to 20 years. Um, never stops. Been writing poetry for like 25 years, writing raps for 25 years. I've just been creating, pushing, drawing for 30 years. Like literally I was obsessed with art as soon as, as soon as I could fucking hold a pen or pencil because I like sitting in a room alone, which goes back to the solo monk thing. Solo monk. You can't do anything without in a studious nature spending time alone when it comes to creative work, you know? You can't, you can't be a popular person. You can't be a fucking, you can't get all the accolades. And you can't get all the love. And you can't do all that shit and be like a real serious artist. But you can have healthy relationships. But what I'm saying is that it takes time to create things. It takes time to learn how to create things. You have to learn. You have to put in the work to learn. You have to teach yourself. Institutions are not going to teach you as fast as we are moving now. You've got to push. you got to try. <laughs> if you want some advice. And I think you can use that advice on anything. Even when it comes to uh, relationships. Going back to relationships. You know? you got to try. If you're not trying, you're not doing what you say you're doing. You're just fucking lying. You know? Everybody lies, and that's why everybody has mental health issues. Because their whole fucking life is repression and trying to control other people and trying to gain power and trying to get money and trying to control land and assets and things and buy enough stuff so that way you can confirm who you are to yourself and to the people around you. But if you are, if you act, if you do every day, if you create every day, you become the things you create. You know, if you build houses, you know, that you build houses. That's just how it is. You know, if you, it doesn't matter if, if you're a fucking cook, you're a fucking cook. It's fine. It's okay to be that. Outside of the vertical relationship you have with your boss and all the other shit, the things that you do is who you are, you know? And uh, there's no shame in being anything. Unless you're hurting other people, unless you're lying to other people, unless you're controlling other people, unless you're manipulating other people. <clears throat> we got to break free. Got to fucking break free. No simulation of liberation. We got to organize. We got to work. We have to build the skills. We have to learn and unlearn and push and wake up every day and be consistent non fucking stop never stops life don't stop we are impermanent that's why it is so precious that's why creating is precious that's why teaching yourself is precious that's why sharing with others teaching others is precious okay i have to get the dogs back in they're running out in the field Come on. All right. Thank y'all for listening. Appreciate it. Hopefully dog. Dog's still out there. Wait, is it coming? Come on. Yeah, there's the dog. All right. Thank y'all for listening. Appreciate it.